Gemini. This is your January mid-month quickie check-in. Have we arrived at the breakthrough moment? Because two cards popped out for the past or the current this this past or the situation that this reading's regarding. We've got the Prince of Swords, your uh, air signs coming through here. So your Aquarius, yourselves, Gemini's, and your Libran kind of energy. I see this as your breakthrough moment that you've been waiting for. You're holding the reins. You have here an an eagle taking off with uh, this you know, time where you've been in suspended animation here, this Neptune sort of energy could be to do with um, the time of Pisces or that you've um, a Pisces involved in this uh, or a Pisces has brought forward what this breakthrough moment is. I feel like it's if it hasn't happened, it's uh, really right on the doorstep about to come through. Uh, yoga meditation pose here the tree of life your ankh for your uh, all these little symbols that are in here that are indicating to me like you've spent the time in meditation you've thought about things and bang here it is so it's something you've been waiting for could be a Taurus involved in this uh, situation. I just feel like you've been trying to crack the nut on something, Gemini. Um, maybe it's inventing something and you had to, it could be to do with um, outdoors, with, with projects. Maybe it's maybe you've done something that's going to make a change to your environment. And, you know, this is a classic sort of Taurus grounded energy, uh, hierophant. I always feel like the Hierophant as well is about committing to something when it comes through in this way, like you're, you've got the idea and you're going to go for it now. Got your, your all your symbols here for your earthly sort of energy. Taurus are very good for that, for, for having what they need. Yep, I've got the funds for it. Yes, I'm going to go ahead with it. And, you know, you, you've you had the um, judgment presiding over this too. So you've got the angels watching over you and the call has gone out. This is also linked to music as well and um, creativity too. And I feel as though that could be something to do with this idea as well. Judgment card being your, your Libran energy and also um, Pluto um, energy coming through here, which Pluto is a Scorpio uh you know, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and Mars. So you have though, I speaking about this before because it's funny that the Hanged Man and the Judgment Card have popped up quite a bit in these um, mid-month readings. So check out the other signs that receive them too. And I'm really feeling as if you have this sort of, uh, that timing, it could be when that comes out, that that end of, end of October, start of November could be when something's released that you've actually, that you have created or something that you're trying to bring forth. We've got the chariot card here from the Affirmators Tarot, which of course is your cancer energy as well. That could be relevant to you. Normally in the old Rider Waite deck, you've got the chariot is um, being drawn forward by um you know, often in different decks, it's a black and a white um, horse or it's a black and a white animal of different types. So it's interesting that you had a chariot at the start here with the eagle and then you've got a chariot here. So really the energy of, of moving forward. So I'm going to read the message from the Affirmators Tarot for you on this one. It says, the chariot shows us the constant tug of war between our conscious selves and our ID based drives. It encourages development of a healthy ego. That is to say, a sense of who you are and what you want in life. But it definitely wags a finger at an ego that tips into arrogance or self-righteousness. And it cautions against letting our subconscious urges get the best of us. Like a charioteer reining in two horses, we can harness our destinies and ride towards them with ease as long as we maintain balance and awareness. Look out, Spartacus. 
the mantra that you can say to bring this energy in is I know what I want and I know what's best for myself which means that sometimes I have to play bad cop with myself and it has a little disclaimer moustache not included but heavily encouraged I think that that could be a message that's linked with this judgment too of stay in your um in, the, in your highest regard, your highest energy. Also, um, you know, yeah, don't let the ego kind of come in and uh, bowl you over there at the finish line. But I think you've got that under control because here you've got the hangman to bring in another perspective. I did see uh, in the crystal ball, I did see eyes that are watching you. So be careful with that idea. Maybe don't go boasting about things, Gemini, because that could be the thing that trips you up as well. That you know, maybe these beady eyes people are watching could sort of try to um, steal this idea from you. I hope that's helpful, Gemini. Please like, share and subscribe for more messages and I'll check in with you soon. Thanks for listening.